Chemistry is a freshman, sophomore level class designed to be taken after you take biology. In this course, we'll talk about matter, atoms, and how they rearrange and react to make all sorts of new and fun molecules. It does require a certain amount of math, and it's very conceptual and visual. Physics is a sophomore, junior level class. It is highly mathematical, and it's designed for people who want to pursue science as a post-secondary field of study, a post-secondary field of study. If you are interested in how things move, how do we model them, and what was Einstein talking about anyways, physics is the class for you. We talk about positions, velocities, accelerations, forces, work, machines. It's an excellent class jam-packed with a lot of information. Integrated Chemistry and Physics is about a sophomore level course. It's one semester of physics, which studies the movement of matter. So we talk about velocities and accelerations and forces. And then we switch gears and talk about chemistry for one semester, which is what is that matter made up of? How do those atoms rearrange and react to create the interesting phenomenon we get to see in the everyday world? So physical science is a requirement for your high school diploma. That means you have to take one of three classes, chemistry, physics, or integrated chemistry and physics. Chemistry is a great sophomore level class to take right after bio and studies matter and atoms. Physics is an excellent junior level class. It studies how materials move around. It's very math heavy. Integrated chemistry and physics is about a sophomore level class that is half physics and half chemistry and covers the major topics for both of those fields. If you're thinking about going into science as a college major, chemistry and physics are both highly recommended. If you're thinking about doing a college major that's not science related, ICP might be for you. Rodin out.